right, let's welcome in back in the peg with the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, Kenny Lawler. Kenny, what is up, man? Welcome to Winnipeg Sports Talk, and congrats on the deal to come back to Winnipeg. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. I'm just uh, here, home base in uh, Edmonton, uh, me and my family, and uh, man, just uh, trying to stay warm. Well, uh, yeah. Listen, you're uh, you're not the only one. Uh, that's uh, <laughs> Edmonton, Winnipeg. It's February. We know what it's like, but things are going to heat up once uh, the Bombers are back at IG Field with oh, you, you know at number eighty nine. Uh, tell us how this all came about. Um, you know, obviously had a great season in Edmonton when uh, you were in. Obviously, a team the team was in a bit of a different stage where the Bombers were. Um, what was behind the uh, the return to the blue and gold? Oh uh, man, the return. It was just um, it was just something that it was, it was it, it it had to happen in my eyes just because I believe I just created something in in Winnipeg to where I like to continue building. One, it's just a great organization. The fans are unbelievable, and uh, that's something I really appreciate. And uh, really, um, um, it just it boosts my it boosts my game to where I could come back to a place and um, play in such an electrifying stadium uh, such as IG Field. Um, it's, it, was, it, was, it was a no-brainer. Um, it was just more so about the deal, um, stability, um, you know. And, um, you know, once they offered that, they offered the first deal, and it was, just, it, was, it, was, it was such a great deal. There was no need to, you know, rebuttal or, you know, uh, counter or anything like that. So... Yeah, uh, once they once they once they got it over, I just was just couldn't wait to sign it. You know, listen, no one begrudged you for leaving because of what was on the table from the Edmonton Elks last year. But we know how short professional football careers are, and you always have to do what's best for your family. But how hard was it to leave Winnipeg last season? Oh, it, it was hard. It was hard because, um, you know, I'm a, I try to be a man of my word always, and. Um, one thing I told Coach Shea and um, you know the exit meeting at the end of the season was um, I want to be a bomber for the rest of my life and uh, you know and uh, he was like I'm, I'm we'll see we'll see how things go but um, I'm pretty sure you know we we were able to make it happen and so on and so forth and um, can't can't remember his exact words but um, man going into the negotiations that year it was just. It, it it was hard, and you know um, my agent had to do a lot of talk with me, saying that you know it's like um, you're gonna you're gonna have to get over it, but you know you're doing the best decision that's you know for your family, and that was that was the number one thing going into negotiations, as it is uh, every negotiation. So um, it 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 was tough, man. It was tough, but um, I'm just I'm just excited to be back, man. Just... There was there was some talk last year, kind of as we got towards the trade deadline, that the Bombers were sniffing around, maybe making this return happen during last season. Then I believe you got hurt for a few games, and it sort of washed out. Were you aware of that at all? I mean, was that just bad luck, or is that something you sort of found out afterwards and said, "Well, we're not gonna we're not gonna need to get to that point. We're gonna get something done in the off season." Yeah, and um, so I found out. I want to say three days after my uh, collarbone, and um, man, it was just devastating news to me because um, I know um, what it would have meant to me to be back in that in that locker room. Um, it, it was just it was just like damn, you know. One, I know I'm not going to be able to play football for for a little bit, but it was just like the opportunity of being back in that locker room playing for a Grey Cup. Um, would have been it would have it, it would have been like the uh, it would have been the greatest reunion. Um, there's there's no really words to put it. There. Everyone knows how much I love Winnipeg, um, the fans, the organization. So um, yeah, it was just it was just one of those things that was just very devastating to me at the time, and it was a uh, it was kind of hard to get over. Um, but you know, what it happened. That's the sport we play, um, and I had to you know. I had to realize that in order to get over this injury to be uh, successful in uh, my return. And, um, yeah. Well, you know, I've got to ask you about last season, though. I mean, you went there as the highest-paid receiver in the league, a lot of pressure on it. But, I mean, this was a rebuilding team that went through a number of quarterbacks, um, but you were still very productive. Um, when you look back, and I mean, you did a really nice Instagram post to the people in the city of Edmonton for your time there. How will you look back on last season with the Elks? Man, um, 
as a as a lot of lessons, um, you know, because um, we took a lot of losses. But you know, um, I just I just treat those as lessons, man. Um, I, I've learned a lot about myself. I've uh, learned, you know, about you know the the type of person I want to be, and um, the type of teammate that I want to be. How to you know bring people with you, um, and um, man, this this that leadership role that you know I learned that. I one learned it in Winnipeg, learning from all you know the the vets on that team. But I was able to carry that over to Edmonton, and uh, from there it is kind of like I had to take on that role. And um, that's 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 the that's the biggest thing. Um, the city was great. Uh, the people here were great. Um, I made some great great uh, relationships. And um, man, that's gonna be you know another hard thing to. Uh, to uh, you know, leave and you know, my son, he he made so many friends here, and the the school has been great with him. That was such a blessing. But um, you know, um, it's it's on to new beginnings, I believe, and um, and it's it's just gonna be it's just gonna be great in Winnipeg. Um, well, there's certainly no unknowns for you. I mean, you know who you're coming back to play for. You know the majority of the personnel. You certainly know the coaching staff, and yeah. you know the city and the fan base. And I'm sure that's why that. <laughs> Reunion feels that much better. How much did you pay attention to the Bombers last year? Because, I mean, you were going to a very different situation. You left a two-time yeah. Grey Cup champ to a team that certainly didn't have those same expectations. Was it? Uh, did you watch a lot of Bomber football last year, and was it tough when uh, when you guys were struggling the way you were? I did, and, um, you know, having my family here, but then also um, looking, you know, at all the guys that I know that I came up with, and uh, watching them have success, it was it, it was it, it was meaningful. Um, I believe you know I contribute it to a little bit of you know the success that's uh, been on that team, and you know the relationships and the bonds that I've created on that team is just gonna go further than you know my football career is gonna be a life thing. So, man, when I was watching the guys, I was just like, man, like, they're out there handling business. I, I I know the mentality of the team, so it's just it's just fun watching it, you know, and. Uh, um, yeah, it was sad, you know, not being a part of it, uh, being it on the opposite side. Um, but it's just, it's just, you know, you have so much love, love for your brothers that, you know, you just wish the best for them. And, um, it was like, once we got, once we got to the Grey Cup, it was like, you know, I felt like I was still a part of the team, you know, and, um, I took the loss, uh, I ain't gonna say I took the loss harder than them because they were in it, but, you know, I felt, I, I felt for them and I felt. I felt a loss as well. Well, and, and I mean, I, I think it's pretty clear. I mean, from talking to a number of your uh, now teammates again over the course of this off season that, um, you know, you have some incredible success. You have this great run as a team. You fall so close, but just short in the, in the great cup game last year, it really does feel like there's somewhat of an unfinished business tour. That's about to get rolling here in a couple months here in the peg. Oh man. Yeah. It's, it's definitely unfinished business, you know, um, the three piece should have been ours. Um, you know, you just like you uh, came came just a little bit too close, but uh, you know, hats off to Toronto. They played a great game as well. But uh, man, that's just what's that's just what's fueling me, man. I feel I feel I feel the fire right under us. That's gonna you know propel us. We got it. We got a lot of guys back. Um, I feel like the team is just better, and you know, it's, it's just gonna be a revenge tour. Um, that's how I'm taking it. I lost majority of my games last year. So I'm just looking to go out and just, you know, take it week by week, you know, practice by practice um, and just go out there and just 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 whoop up on everybody, man. And, um, you know, that's um, something that, you know, we're not we're, we're, we're used to doing in the peg. And, um, it, you know, it starts with, you know, just just the, the time we put in, the work we put in, because that's where it really starts. Man. It starts about how how hard you're working with your guys and, you know, what you're doing it for. And, um, you know, that's all the, the, the fire we need. And, you know, just this added, you know, revenge tour, unfinished business. I really believe there's unfinished business. I'm the truest competitor. I'm the number one competitor in the, in the league. That's what I believe. Like practice, um, anything, games, um, especially, um, you know, when we touch foot on touch, um, touch game day, um, you know, I'm, I'm coming for it all, and uh, that's what it, that's exactly what it's going to be. 
Kenny Lawler's with us back in blue and gold and back on Winnipeg Sports Talk. What was the what was the month for you like uh, leading into free agency? Uh, man, I'm sure you were paying attention to what was happening around the league, especially here in Winnipeg. You know, the big boys on the offensive line are back. Adam Big Hill's back. Stanley Bryant, Jackson Jeffcoat, Nick Dembski resigns. Um, did, was it pretty darn clear that you knew that this was the place that you wanted to be because this team was going to be very, very similar to the one that you and your teammates had your greatest success as pros? Uh, yeah, it was clear as day. It, it, it was clear as light to come here, man. Um, one thing about the CFL that I always tell people, it reminds me so much of uh, high school football to when you're really, you know, not paying attention to the business side. We still have to pay attention because we're pros. But then it's just the love of the game you're playing for. You're playing with your brothers. You're playing with guys that you grew up with. And that's what it feels like. That's what it feels like when you step foot in that locker room. And uh, I, you, you've heard it from not just only me, just a number of guys that are in that locker room. And it's it's something special. It's, it's very special. I've been saying it, man. It's so special. And I'm telling people, like, once we get done with this run, man, and this, uh, this dynasty to come, they're going to be doing a 30 for 30 on us, man. And it's, it's, it's going to be dope because uh, it, it, it's special here. <laughs> hey, when uh, when you signed, what uh, how how well uh, hot was the phone there for a little bit from uh, former and now teammates again? Did you get a lot of uh, get a lot of hollers from uh, from the fellas uh, in the bomber dressing room saying welcome back? Yeah, I got I got a lot of messages. Uh, the guys, you know, they were open arms like man can't wait to get after it man and that's 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 what it's about man it's about you know getting after it with guys that you know that enjoy your company you know guys that you love man and um man the phone the phone was blowing up there's all all sorts of people family you know friends um of current bombers and um yeah yeah the phone the phone was hot i had to you know drop it for a little bit <laughs> it was so hot <laughs> So um, Edmonton actually is home base for you right now. We're talking to you from Edmonton. Um, yeah. Listen, it's been a great spot for you, but you're coming back to Winnipeg. How does the, uh, what does life look like for the Lawler family over the next couple of months before uh, you got to get here to camp and uh, get ready to get back to that great cup? Oh man. So uh, life over here, you know, son goes to school. Um, life for me, um, we're just continuing to work, work out every day. Um, then, uh, you know, as soon as, you know, I'm going to be leaving first, my son's in school till about, I want to say the last weeks of June, one of the third or fourth week of June. So, um, they'll be getting out after and, um, man, just, uh, just, uh, preparing to make the transition really, um, transition from Edmonton to Winnipeg and, uh, it's going to be smooth. We got a big support system there in Winnipeg that, you know, um, just love to help. And, uh, it's great. You know, I mean, uh, listen, you're obviously uh, a professional athlete. You're taking care of yourself and getting ready for the season. Uh, but you've also got another job. How's uh, how's dad life treating you, Kenny? Oh, man, it's been great. It's been great. This is actually the uh, the first time they've actually been up here. And, uh, you know, being able to see uh, my family every day, that was a, that was a blessing just because, um, quite frankly, it didn't go as I planned on it here in Edmonton football wise. And, um, it was just always great to come here and, you know, be able to decompress and, you know, have that, that, that love here in the, in the household to where, um, I'm not really always focusing on football and, you know, I'm not focusing on other things. Um, I'm more so just, just here, here in the day. Um, and, uh, I get to, I get to see my son go to school every day. I get to see how he progresses. Um, it was it was hard last uh, couple seasons not being being away from them just because um, I don't get to see those things. I don't get to see those things on the daily. Um, you know what I mean? And um, it's just it just it just means a lot more that they're able to be here. And then now that they're able to come to Winnipeg, they're uh, they're going to see, you know, why I love it so much and why it's such a special place. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask you about Coach O'Shea. Um, you, you played for a lot of coaches. Um, what makes him so special? And did you talk to him after you re-signed or, or signed to come back to Winnipeg? And uh, what was that one like? Yeah, oh, yeah Coach one, one of Coach O'Shea is an uh, unbelievable coach. Um, great guy. And um, I think that's what makes him a great coach because he's a great guy. Um, you know what I mean? Um, he understands his player. He's a 
been in certain situations to where he knows how to relate to guys. Um, when he comes to you, he's always going to come and talk to you with the respect, with the with the respect factor first, being first, and um, you know, and then um, you know, he's just he's just he's just a great guy to be around. Um, we get after it, we win, and it's just is it, it's fun. It's it, it's fun, and that's what he promotes. And um, it, it's just family. It's it, it's just really family. Um, that's what makes him. A great guy. He understands that, and he understands, you know, how to incorporate that into winning. Well, I mean, there's nothing more fun than winning, and uh, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers have done a hell of a lot of that over the last few <laughs> seasons, and I know they're planning to do it more. Um, what uh, I know you've heard from plenty of Bomber fans on social media since the announcement, but uh, what is the message from Kenny Lawler to the fans of the Blue and Gold before you get back to Winnipeg to try to get this season going? Man, I believe the message is just, uh, unfinished business. No, you know, uh, I feel like we left a lot out there um, in uh, 20, what was it, 22. Um, I know falling a little short, and it's just unfinished business. Come today, every work, that's what you guys are going to get out of us, man. You're going to get out, you're going to get 110%, if not more. And, um, you know, we're passionate to bring the cup where it belongs. It belongs in the city of Winnipeg, and, uh, and you know, that's what's going to happen. That's what, you know, I want the fans to expect. That's what I expect of myself and my teammates. And I know that's what they expect for themselves as well. And, um, you know, we're going to go out there and we're going to go out there and accomplish this, that. Well, Kenny, I can tell you that uh, the Winnipeg Sports Talk chat was uh, on fire when it <laughs> became apparent that you were coming back. People are really excited both for you and just to get this football team back on the field and to get the crazies there in IG Field, turning it up for uh, in support of the Blue Bombers. Thanks so much for doing this. Enjoy the rest of the time in Edmonton. And we can't Thank wait you. to see you and the Bombers back in the peg this year. Oh, man, I can't wait to touch down in the peg. You have a great day. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew.